Why, hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Baron Lord and my crossbow only let's play. Well, let's talk about this man. Let's not get me killed here. So we're in the middle of a battle already against an enemy lord. I decided that we want to try and do something this episode. Though. I want to get myself a waifu. I feel like that is going to be my dream and our goal. Because of course, if I get a wife, I could do many things such as lose all my money. No, I'm just <laughs> such as have kids and maybe have an amazing companion in this beautiful party here where they think they're going i thought i was gonna hit him in the face there for a second i like how he dropped his hair to lose weight so he can get away faster very intelligent move if i say so myself okay so that was a bit of a weird battle at the start uh we did lose a few troops there but it wasn't too bad you may have noticed if you got a key knife i've actually got some cavalry over here this was a mistake <laughs> I am not using them in this series. Is this because I became a Lord of Alandia last episode and we happen to have picked up some noble units? I will get rid of them very shortly. Let's see. I'll take it. Thank you, game. Yes, you are free to go. I like I like the smile. The smile is what warms my heart every time I see it. And also, I guess, to the charisma points. Okay, um, let's see. I don't want to take any of these prisoners. They're not actually high enough level. We are having a bit of money issues still. I do have a bunch of stuff on me I can sell, I think, in prison. A prison? <laughs> in On the markets, everybody. I haven't got any soap on me. Uh, so we can maybe afford some more upgrades and whatnot. Unfortunately, we've got these two companions. Oh, sorry, not this guy. This guy's amazing. He's one of us, everybody. He knows what he's doing. These two, though, I can't actually get them to become crossbowmen, as far as I know. So we might have to get rid of them. Um, I'm not sure how. But we'll figure it out. <laughs> I know there's a dismiss button, but I feel like maybe just making a pie leader or something would be better in the interim. We'll figure it out. It should be fine. Anyway, uh, let's get out of this menu. More braces. Now we know this guy here. Not this guy, sorry. This guy is going to be staying with us. Let's give him some more equipment, shall we? We also can't forget, he is holding the super sword I got given from becoming a Lord of Landia. So if I ever get too tempted to use it, I might accidentally equip it. But we'll see how things go first. Uh, let's also give him some hand-me-down armor. Very ringy. I kind of like it. This armor does not mix at all. <laughs> He's got ring armor, random peasant shoes, the hand braces, and just a floating cloak. Not exactly the most amazing uh, tailored man in the world, but it is what it is. I'll take him all. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get out of here. So I actually have leveled up, I think. Ooh. 150 athletics, a milestone, halfway to getting maximum ability. Actually, wait, no, maximum's 330, isn't it? Oh, it's okay, whatever, it's fine. So apparently I can get myself more hit points while moving. That seems like the most easy and logical thing to pick out of all the options there. Oxhole, please take my money before I go bankrupt. The biggest problem about becoming a lord over a mercenary is i just don't get paid anymore so i'm just losing money <laughs> i've already gone bankrupt that's not a good start of the video uh there is a little bit of tribute income i'm getting but it's not exactly gonna pay the bills let's put it that way uh let's see nice that's quite a bit of money i'll take it well i'm here though oh i kind of want this just so i look very valaniony but of course i can't afford it right now but now we've got to the point in the game where I can maybe kill people more constantly. We should be able to just ravage our way through our enemy forces and maybe get enough money to buy some of these high tier equipments. I mean, hooked cavalry axe. Everybody. It does more damage. <laughs> I could use this to potentially kill people when I swing my weapon. Which is, yes, that is the point of weapons in the first place. But currently this terrible, simple sparth axe is it's not, not working, guys. We need to get something better. Something more permanent. Yes. We'll figure out. Anyway, uh, I'm liking the options here so much. I still want to see if I can maybe find a large bolt bag, but I don't know if they exist still. I need to keep an eye out for it. But at least at the moment, we have a little bit of better equipment. We got some okay bolts <laughs> compared to the light bolts we were using before. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, what we should do as well. We should keep an eye out. Every city we go into, we see a double check. Is there a companion that can use crossbows in there? I think it's quite important. My lord! Oh, look! I know we had this conversation before about the wages. I laid out a completely logical and rational argument of why I was not paying my troops. And you've ignored it. Again, you know that I'm not paying my men for one reason. I need to prove their loyalty if they're going to help me fight against... The fairies of hell. And you just ignored that. Come on, man. What? 
do we, uh, Gruna, do we have a problem here? Do I need to fire you? Is he the, wait, let me just, this is, this is unacceptable. I can't believe he's talking back to me in this way. Does he have any, he has no skills, he sucks. Grinid. Peace to you. Nah, don't give me that, you know what's happening. You've annoyed me. You've wasted my time, dragged me out of my tent while I was watching anime. And now we have this conversation because of you. I no longer need your services. Get the hell out of my office. You, what do you mean did you do something wrong? You know what you did. Wait, I've never done this before. Let me have a look. Time is taking its toll. No, no, no. You're not getting along with the rest of the company? Okay. Nah. I cannot be sure of your loyalty. Good track. Get out. Goodbye. <laughs> do you know what? I just realized people are going to be pissed. Um, do you just, did you see what he was wearing? <laughs> I should have taken his equipment off him before I fired him. Um, it's fine. Look. I'm a very passionate man. Passion overtook me. He had to be fired immediately. There was no time to strip him of all his worth. He had to be let go. <laughs> anyway, moving on, everybody. Let's go back to the, the horrors. No. There's about to be peace. This is bad. If there's peace, there's nothing we can do. I need to get some kind of combat going quickly, or we're going to go bankrupt in the future. Uh, there must be some kind of lord nearby I can whack, whack in the face. Please, game. Anyone. I don't care who. Actually, I do care if they're too powerful. Ah, oh, what about these people? Let's be careful here. <laughs> Let's not get myself too dangerous. So there is a very weak lord. I'm not going to be able to catch him. There's also a, a bunch of different lords. If I, what if they can get to attack me at the same time? That's no, not working out. Okay, we just, we just bide our time. This guy has hired like 20 troops in the last 10 seconds. <laughs> How has he achieved this? Oh. There. Who are you? Oh no. It is better we know each other's names, even if we fight. Now nah, we got this. This is fine. We fight to our last drop of blood. <laughs> oh god, I said I had this. I didn't realize there was that many troops. <sighs> okay. My my attempt to get a battle in the last throes of this war may have caused a bit of a problem. We're not going to pretend otherwise. I feel like we may have caused a very drastic mistake here. I... Could I technically... Oh, okay. I can technically end the war if I want to. But keep that in mind. <laughs> Let's attack. What could possibly go wrong? Let me just get some stewardship. If my men know that they have the ability to work at my sweatshops after they retire, they will fight harder. That's the play here. On my command! Oh, it's so dark as well. And we're in a river. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, God. No, I forgot about the... Damn it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, How do I deal with this? I would say we shouldn't panic, but I'm always panicking, so it's fine. Uh, What we're going to do is we're going to go and sub on this part of the river here. It's a lot deeper and a longer. And uh, wider, I mean. So it means that they will have to spend more time crossing it to get to me. Actually, it's going to be a diagonal, so they got to go all the way through here. Slow speed being shot in the face. Mwah! This river might have saved our lives, everybody. As for everyone else, I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to use these troops technically, but these are desperate times. Do we need them to survive? We'll have to find out. Go, cavalry. Make me proud. Okay, men, we need to shoot at full speed. We are outnumbered three to one. Oh, there's so many of them. There's firemen. They might just... Oh, it doesn't slow them down? What kind of river is this? No. No. Run, infantry. I thought they were going to be walking at like snail's pace. No. Okay, just charge defeat in detail. Hold them off. Keep firing, men. Oh, no, there's firing axes and stuff. No. God, I'm too bad at this. I'm going to aim at someone without a shield. Do you know what? I've had enough of this. Oh, there's cavalry and stuff as well. Keep shooting. Whoa! Uh, that's merely a flesh wound. Oh, God. That really hurt. Oh, 
Fireman! No one's got run over by a horse! That's the worst way to go. Wait, what? Brilliant. Cow thief. Who did I fire? Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Someone roll it, roll it back. Did I fire the wrong person? What has happened? I am so c You should be gone. I fired the wrong person. No. <laughs> I can't believe what I've done. Well, okay, let's just beat this battle. Sorry, I got very distracted here. So I fired the wrong person. There was clearly a major mistake. That I'm going to have to cover this up. I look like an idiot. I cannot believe what I've just done. But, so what the thing is, Grinid was warned by the firing randomly of someone else so that he understood that I can remove him from his position at any time. Any point I want, it, just a whim, he's gone. For no reason. <laughs> Oh, God, guys. No, I can't believe this happened. It's fine. I can imagine the comments now. Some will say, why don't you just stop this in the video? It's like, no, this is part of who I... This is part of who I am, everybody. We're not going to hide this. You know what I'm like. This is just who I am. Wait, why is the battle still going on? Oh, I like this. This is perfect. There's no point capturing these guys because they're about to... In one hour, the war's going to end. So I'm just going to release them right away. I get myself an additional nine skill points and also we capture everybody the whole shebang hear me out guys hear me out we'll capture every single person here we'll take all their money everything the master beard axes do, do you reckon it actually has a beard it's called a beard axe no one knows uh, anyway so we'll capture all this stuff and we'll end the war right now yes they're willing to pay tribute right how much I will throw my weight behind this. All of it. Wait, who am I going to annoy? Servic. Do I care about you? Baron of Valandia. Reputation of being untrustworthy. Then screw this guy. I can't do maximum. But we can do medium... Not... Uh, side... What, what am I talking about? <laughs> medium... Medium influence. Let's, let's just put it that way. I'm not going to try and say anything else there. So we'll do this. I got more charm again, apparently. Ooh. And now, I can go and sell all these prisoners. For 800... Really? <laughs> Not very impressive, guys. Can't believe he's still here. Grinid the cow thief. I thought this... So when I was looking at his stats, I was like, I swear Grinid actually had the ability to lead men. And I was like, oh, I must have made him a mistake. No, he does. <laughs> I should have realized at that point that I was not talking to the right person. You're free to go, buddy. You're now a companion leader. Go out, make yourself worthy, and maybe I won't fire you next time you disrespect me. Okay, let's see. Legendary Ridged. Oh, wow. We have got some cool equipment. Damn! Cool. Well, that's great. We, we definitely have money to survive the storm with not any combat going on, so that's pretty handy. So, I guess the question is going to be now, everybody. What do we do? We've, we've got to a point where there's now peace. I reckon we go back to the other place and we get that axe. Was it the Cavalry Axe or Doom or something, whatever it's called? The Chosen Axe of Destruction? That's what I'm remembering it was called. So we're going to go back and get that fella. And then we actually have a proper axe we can use. Or oh, it's broken as we've just set up a new thing, that's why. It, that should calm down. Every time you create a new party, they have to go and buy horse and food and stuff, so it costs you a lot of money. Uh, it's looking pretty good, though, if we got a... Wait, settlement income? I feel like that wasn't there before. Wait, what? Where's my territory? Ah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I zoomed in way too far. Look at this. Our very own castle. Let's go have a look at it in a second. I will grab the stuff here first, though. Okay, buddy. Sell me the axe. The axe of dreams. Excellent. There goes most of my money. <laughs> Perfect. 
Okay, let's get out of it. So let's go and take a quick look at my beautiful new castle. I might also want to try and find myself like a stewardship imperial governor just to sit in there. Because the unfortunate thing in the situation is I've been given a territory. Brilliant. But the territory that I have been given is not a Valandian territory, everybody. It is unfortunately an imperial territory, which means they're probably going to hate me. Risk of rebellion. Loyalty. 16.53. No. So normally you would just be like, ah, it's chill. I'll just go and change some laws but i am playing as a uh, vassal this time and not a king so we literally can't do that uh so we will have to try and find ourselves a governor to keep this place going or it's gonna be kind of bad i could technically assign this man right here to go and do it right away but faster building production plus 30 percent he's already got some pretty decent skill where has he got all these skills from interesting but we're not gonna do that i kind of want him in my employ for now wait a second did that say charm why is Charm here? Is that just his highest skill that might be relevant to being a governor? I thought it was based on stewardship. I'm not sure. I don't normally assign governors, to be honest. I don't really care, but um, <laughs> I might care this time. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Anyway, let's keep going this way. Uh, now, we've got some peace time. I got some money, so I haven't got to worry too much about going bankrupt immediately. I guess we could look for a wife. So I'm trying to remember, what are the wives of Valandia? The, all the potential waifus. We go on culture. That's the, what am I doing? Wrong thing. Female, preferably alive. Yeah, I think we'll go for alive. Valandia, Lord Lady, not married. Here we go. Okay. I can't remember the name of the one that was the one you're meant to marry. There's always one that is just the best waifu. I think it's her. I don't know. <laughs> it could be. We don't, we're not sure. Where's that location? He's right here. Is that her? Wait, let's, let's talk to her. Milady. I think I've already got some good clothes, right? Yeah, I've got my rich boy clothes. Well now, stranger. Peace to you. Oh, yeah, we found her. This is her. We got her. My lady. I am Siflid of the Day Aromatic. What kind of name is that? We might have to change that if we get married, okay? We received our title from Emperor Vortus himself. I don't know who that is. So there's no point name dropping me, okay? I have no idea. Not that he had much choice about it, as he was held captain in one of our raiding ships at the time. Okay. But I'm sure he recognized the nobility of our blood. That sounds very noble, capturing emperors and keeping me in your raiding ships. I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm being sarcastic. Uh, okay. I would like to discuss. I, I I must say, your your beauty is unimaginable. You're wearing a cookie cutter hat. Do you know how much I enjoyed that? If we ever get go baking, we can just immediately create some cookies using your hat. It's going to be brilliant. I just because of this, I love you, and my lady. I wish to profess myself your most ardent admirer. Considering offers, indeed, I wish to offer my hand in marriage. You are considering many offers. Excellent. I happen to have. Want ten thousand pounds and a cow, just so you know. That's a very, very good offer. Cool. So we have a wife going on. We can maybe talk to her from time to time, go on some dates. I heard there's a new movie coming out soon, so we might be able to go and see it with her. Uh, for a moment, I'd like to spend some time together. Yeah. Okay, this is where it goes horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, I can't fail. <laughs> yes. This may this is based off your stats and your like stuff, so it might go horribly wrong at some point. Um, so I've heard you've traveled along around a fair bit. No doubt you've seen a lot of strange and awful things. Yes. I saw someone once wear a cookie cutter hat. It was very strange. Maybe you've done a few strange and awful things yourselves. Yes, I dabbed once. It was very disturbing. Go on, tell me a bit about your journeys. What can I say? It is a beautiful world, but filled with so much suffering. That's a depressing guy, isn't it? If I was to do this on a date, if I ever managed to get a date in the first place, she would be out of the, she would be out the door. Her friend would phone, oh no, her sixth grandfather's dying. She has to leave. That's it. Date's over. And I have to pay for the bill. Just gonna put it out there. Okay, um, done. Between your followers, your rivals, and your enemies, you must have met a lot of interesting people. I'm just honored to have fought alongside comrades who thought nothing of shredding their blood to keep me alive. Yes. I'm a selfish bastard. 
I see. Oh, she wasn't very happy about that, but it still works out. Oh, it's just 100% perfect. Some people say you will go far. I, I, those people are idiots. Skip. <laughs> Suppose you were to rise to a position of power, what would you do? I hope I could bring peace to the land and justice and alleviate people suffering. Along with free dental. I think. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so the next one takes a while to come through. So we'll go and visit our territory first. I'm coming my castle. I do like visiting the other castles. There's not really much in Banner Lord when it comes to thief management, but it is still pretty cool owning a territory if it doesn't really do much. I like it. I mean, it could be a lot better, but it's still pretty cool that you can be a lord. I do miss being able to control villagers, though. I always like being given a terrible village out in the waste. Normally in Warband, it was on fire when you get given it. It's like, here's a village. <laughs> there's there's a, some ash on the ground. And you can build a bunch of buildings. It does a bunch of things. Pretty cool. And then eventually you get castles. It was I liked it a lot more. It felt like you were going from like a really low-level noble instead of just being given a castle in the first 10 minutes. I didn't even do anything. I just got given this. It, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Very weird. Uh, sorry, the police are going by. Guys. Oh my, guys, I just saw a double police car. They just actually crossed each other outside my window at the same time. That's why it was so loud. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, look at this place. Everybody is, is quite nice. I mean, there's not enough crossbows, if you ask me. But I feel like we can probably add some crossbows in somewhere. I mean, like, this room can just be a giant crossbow. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this place. I mean, we have got the banners and stuff as well. Ow. Uh, that kind of hurt, I'm not going to lie. Wait a second. I just realized, why are there two... What's in here? Is that my chambers? Oh, I've never noticed this before. Did anyone else know that you can look inside these rooms? Oh, it's like a secret... Creepy basement. Uh, I'm not sure why that's there. We're going to pretend we didn't see that. <laughs> Whoever built this castle had some very odd uh, ideas of what to put in their castle. We'll just um, pretend it's like a storage room or something. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Cool, anyway, so we got that sorted out. I will probably have to do a bit of a time skip, everybody, because without combat, what is there really to do? I guess something I could potentially try if I get enough influences. Maybe we can go and try and siege down Varchek. Uh, if I go and look at the men... Oh, I'll tell you what, we could probably do it. I reckon we can take down Varchek. With... Oh. Yeah, we're going to do it. So, let's just make this a bit cheaper first. I can't afford another one, but we can get a good, like, 350 troops to attack that place. Now, the thing I'm going to say is, because it hasn't been attacked in a while, I'm going to go out and say it's probably got a lot of garrison compared to last time. But I'm pretty sure a player doing a siege, we should be able to take it down. Uh, before I do anything else, I just want to quickly double check inside this city here. Is there any companions I can grab? No. What about better crossbows? I didn't have much luck ever buying crossbows in... There you go. <laughs> That's the, I think, maybe the best crossbow. So now we know where it is, and it costs 16 grand. So we have to just make sure we have enough money for it in the future. We can come back and get it. And then we get a crossbow that is better in actually every single way. There's not a single downside, apart from it costing more money, but... It is what it is. Okay, cool. Well, guys, give me a little bit. I'm going to go and travel over to the other place. We will assemble an army and we will take down our foes. Oh, guys, war has been declared. I was just walking over here. I didn't even get a chance to do anything. So it looks like we attacked the Sturgeons once again. So I guess now I can maybe decide to go for them instead. But I still feel like this is the best option. So now I've actually got over here. Let's have a quick look. It has not that much of a garrison, to be fair. I've seen a lot higher. So we will call towards us some backup. Oh, more than last time. Maximum number of men. We'll go for the cheap ones. And I also called my friend over. And while we're waiting, I think we'll just do some light pillaging. As you... <laughs> it's some casual pillaging. It's totally fine. Get that. Wait, I've got to get this person. Why are they so weak with their... Um... It's, been a while. it's probably because they got no way of generating money. Because, like, what do they do in the game? If there's no war, there needs to be like more sustainable non-lord battle stuff for people to do if they want to fight all the time. Attack. Under my command. Wait a sec. Why are we in the desert all of a sudden? I thought there was a bit of an error when it came to the map generation. Look how cool this attack line is. It's like I'm playing as a um red coat or something. I was in by that time. 
Oh, it's because they're leaving. Follow me, everybody. Follow me. Oh, I forgot. I went, I'm very, very close to getting a, a perk which allows me to reload on horseback. No matter what I'm using. I'm, I can't wait for that one. It's going to be really pretty interesting. I feel like I'm actually fighting the Azari Kingdom because like they're using yellow as well. <laughs> it's very strange. Uh oh. Are they going to come and attack me? If they are, I can send off the cavalry to protect me temporarily. So you guys technically shouldn't be here. Bowman! Focus on the cavalry first. We probably shouldn't waste our ammo on them, to be fair, but there's not that many of them there, so I feel like we can probably clear them out and then we'll be good. Oh, damn, I'm not very good at shooting moving targets. I could do it on bow quite often, but not so much with the old crossbow. I'm not used to it too much. Okay, change, change plans. Go for the infantry instead. We're already at half ammo though, so Over it's not gone well. Let's move a bit closer, shall we? Oh, people are dying. A sharpshooter? Oh, no. They're pretty... I don't have many of those, I don't think. Ah, oh, so I'm going to get that person in the back there. I think that's the Lord. That person there. With the axe out. Ah, oh, no. The shield called it. Yes! Oh, no. Is this a random person? Damn it. I thought I, for a second I actually managed to catch the uh, enemy Lord. Oh, wait, we're fighting a non-Battalion faction. It means the Lord's going to be on horseback anyway, so... Be careful! Did I get a new axe? <laughs> it doesn't seem that powerful to me. I mean, 33 damage compared to what I not like 20 I normally get, so it's a little bit better. Destroy them! I just get 20 damage on a headshot. Oh, that was amazing! I don't seem to do much damage though. It's very inconsistent. I did like mass damage earlier and very little damage a second ago there. Might be where I'm hitting near me on the swing. It does play into effect, because the sword, of course, always works. This thing, you have to hit in the face with the accent. Oh. This cavalry is a bit of a pain. Especially because they keep their shield so close, it's actually kind of hard to catch them. Oh, Guys, no. I got no ammo. I was going to say, why are you not shooting? No ammo. <laughs> Okay, everyone, group up, massive formation. We're going to slow them down with our bodies, and then we're going to sh shank them in the head. That worked immediately. <laughs> I think this is the last person here. Is he running away, or is he... He's dead. Okay. Too fast. He will come back. I like the infantry is doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Look, crossbow only means crossbow only, okay? Can I get them on the side? Damn it. Screw this! That kind of works. <laughs> it doesn't exactly what I wanted to happen, but it still did do the job. You're not free to go. I get some money. Although I don't think it's going to be very effective because I, th I think they are very poor. Um, I think like the the wealth of the clan, of course, affects drastically how much money you get from capturing someone. So I have to see it goes. Let's run back to while we're waiting. So we've got a little bit of time. Uh, our allies are on the way, but they have to come over from across the entire map. So it's going to take them a little bit of time to get over here. 
I'm very glad I didn't get any territory over here because it'd been a pain having a bunch of land across the map in a place without any crossbowmen at all. I mean, I guess you can go to the Imperial lands at crossbowmen, but it's not exactly the same as being next to Valandia. Hey guys, I just want to sell some goods while I'm here. Nice. Yeah, not that I, I probably would have rather taken the experience, to be honest, so. But, lessons learned, right? We cannot worry about it next time. Oh, no, I can do it. I can do it, everybody. We're doing it. Now, I should probably give this to this fella, so he has a bit of crossbow, and then I sell this. So we have a little bit of money in the bank, but not too much. But we have an even more powerful crossbow than we had before, so that's pretty good going for us. I hope around now we should start seeing... There they are. Is this enough to capture that city? Not sure, but we'll give it a good shot. We'll do the good old cottage try, as they say. Oh, that's not good. Wait, let me have a quick look. If we can do an army battle, that'd be probably more fun. Sieges are a bit special, so... It's going to be bad, isn't it? There's an enemy army there. How slow are we? 2.6, 3. Point, oh no, they're going to catch me. Oh no. That army is too big, I think. It's a bit too dodgy. Oh no, that's way too... Do you know what, guys? I have a plan. We're doing it. One of my signature moves I like doing all the time. In the morning. Because <laughs> right now it's too dark. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now we're doing it. We're going in. So normally you would say just attack the field battle, but I like doing siege defenses. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, let's have a look at... Oh. Interesting. Fletcher or puncture? Four bolts per quiver. So I get an additional um, eight. They get two. That... Oh, it's no. It's not worth it. We'll go for puncture, I think. I mean, it makes my high-level units go from 18 shots to 20. It's not going to end. It's not going to change the world, is it? But the armor piercing might kill people quicker. So, uh, let's also grab ourselves party size limit, and also walk it off. Done. Oh, we've got a point as well. Let's get some more leadership. Okay, into the castle we go. So I lose 60 troops. That's okay. I mean, the amount of stuff I get from winning a siege defense is vastly more anyway. I get, like, a ton of influence from leading my troops here, so. Take over, come Let's go, everybody. Oh, we're doing a siege with my new crossbow. This is going to be pretty hype. Okay. Men! Where are the enemy? Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, God. we got to find a nice place. I want to be next near an arrow barrel, but... I was saying, it's, I tell you what, here might be pretty nice. This, this sand here. Why did he not defend himself? <laughs> Crazy. We're pretty sure so far. What I might do, I might. I mentioned this a, a while back. I think I need to switch out my perk to get 50% more headshot damage because I'm shooting people in the face with potentially the best crossbow in the game. I'm still not sure, and it's not killing them. So. <laughs> like that! Come on, guys! Come on! We're not doing a good job here so far. We haven't got a lot of crossbows. Which is sad, because I'm the crossbow guy. Get up here! I'll leave it. It's fine. The the Siege AI is very weird. I, they need to, I, I think they should just scrap it and then redo it from scratch, everybody. That's, that's my play. I mean, eventually people will filter up here and take over slots and stuff, but we could have so many people on the walls right now. It could be insane. Okay, so they have a ram. Has it already reached the gate? I think I saw it a second ago. Oops, awkward. I think it's already here. I can't hear anything. No, I can hear something now. <laughs> oh, it's right there! Oh, 
But this, do you reckon I can destroy the ram of this? I'm not certain. I reckon we ignore the ram and we go for this instead. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they got morale, right? So if we kill enough of them, I like how I'm just waiting just to watch the destruction of these. <laughs> Sorry, catapult. I'm having way more fun. And you, oh no, didn't waste. Two more shots. I reckon by the time I come back, it'd be one shot. Oh, the power. What the, I hurt a Valanian? How? <laughs> Have we destroyed the gate? That was quick. Oh god, I'm getting so many kills! And maybe some friendly fire. They seem to have buffed this a bit. In the past, I used to do hardly... My bad, buddy. My bad. In my defense, you were in the way. Oh! He stole it from me. My... Trash, yes. Okay, so far we killed half of them, but now we are on a point where we are just fighting that uh, number. So I think we're kind of equal in terms of strength now. So it's just going to be a matter of who can win. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out. Good news is we're killing a lot of these high-level troops as well. So there might just be their entire army, but killing high-level troops is always good because it means there'll be less of them. Let me have a look around quickly. Uh, do they have ladders and stuff? Nothing here. What about this way? Oh, both ladders are over this way. Interesting. Okay, everyone... Oh, God! They're here! Why are you guys not defending the gate? What are you doing? Oh, the power against peasants, though. Right, back up. We're going to get overwhelmed. Defend me, men! I need that second date. I was going to tell her I love her. I'm going to raise all the red flags now so I get past this battle. Ooh. Who's this guy? It's, it's, it's um, Usulus or whatever his name is. Oh, that's okay. There were severe budget cuts and we didn't actually spend much money on the walls here, so it's fine. Let's try and smash our way through the... Oh, this guy's too heavily armored for me. What happened at the back there with the ladder? My eyes see strange things. I can tell my stories. They're running away. We've done it, everybody. Yes. Victory. It was a tough war battle, everybody. Many men died. Oh, hi. But we survived. As a true lord of Valandia. Let me try and redeem myself for a second. Excellent. Victory. Oh, um, that went pretty well. I've got 87 kills. Pretty nice. 22 renowned. 30 influence. Wow, everybody. The troops we lost, I can now hire two additional lords of 150 men. The math stacks up, everybody. I made a profit in that battle. Uh, okay, so we actually lost... My knights got de demoted because they really sucked. And we lost a few levy men. It wasn't that bad. Ooh, what do we want to do? I reckon we go for the experience. We're going to take all the charm. Which wasn't actually, that wasn't actually that much in the end. <laughs> okay, um, I've got 29 troops. <laughs> oh, God. I should have recruited more men before coming over here.
It's okay. We just have a very elite army. That, that's, my, that's my um excuse here. We take all the prisoners and we can donate them to the castle. Oh. I like it. I mean, it looks more in tune with my, my, my wife. Whatever it is. It's the padding thing. It looks more in tune with that. So I'll take that with me. Uh, we can also just generally upgrade pretty much every... Is this a super horse? Ah, oh, requires riding 60... Don't... Excuse this game. It's a horse! Just ride it, man. Lordly plates. I'd rather have these. I feel way more, like, lordly. lordy. Okay, we've got quite a few upgrades here. We make sure this guy here gets the cream of the crop. All right, you lost a lot of weight, buddy. It looks pretty good. Um. Oh wait, this might be a thing for me. Less body armor, slightly, but it does fit pretty well with the rest of fit. So I think we'll keep that. Mountain Blade Fashion Lords is sometimes a very important thing in this game. We will become the most fashionable person the world's ever seen. Oh, I don't like this though. <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> I looked a bit better. I, I, I think the problem is this bronze scale vest. It just doesn't fit you well, buddy. We need to find an alternative, but it's got such good values. Wait, what about my equipment? Uh, uh, oh, whatever. <laughs> He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. No green. No green, no pain. Donate troops again. Oh, that's the wrong one. I, I can't donate troops. We're, we're so poor. No. Ah, oh, I hate this system, guys. I hate the system of a passion. I can't get rid of my prisoners. <laughs> Game says no. It's fine. What we can do is we can still make this work. I can go and talk to Grinid, who for some reason still has a job with me. I can then... Wait, can I just not just nick some of his crossbowmen? Oh, he won't let me. I just talked to him in the other menu to do that. Uh, also, he's already upgraded his troops away from the power of crossbowmen, so he's not exactly my favorite person right now. I really should have filed in like I intended to do it to start the episode, everybody. Mistakes were definitely made here. Anyway, so I can actually talk to him and maybe give him some prisoners. Can I do that in the same menu? No. Um, Eve. Talk. I. 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 Okay, I'm going to give you a few prisoners. So we want to try and make sure we keep the high level ones, right? We want to make sure we have the highest tier prisoners possible. At the same time, though, we are going to have a problem when it comes to just the capacity. It's, it's not going to be enough. I reckon we give him, like, a bunch of the higher tier ones so he can sell them at least. Oops, I think I made a mistake there. And then what we do... Yeah, I'm sure. I will just get rid of everyone else. The, the, the low levels can be destroyed. They will be exterminated from the world as we know it. Oh enough still fine i got a few more done so that worked out pretty well we could technically grab this olek at the same time we can smash him out but can we catch him no <laughs> it's not even gonna try that one let's head back back towards the city we can probably get some imperial recruits as well because they can turn the cross women so we actually can recruit them uh what is this Relationship game with... Let's do the same gender, because that's going to be most of the people we're dealing with. We can get more endurance. Yes. I will endure my burdens. Durable. More throwing skill as well. Let's increase my... Ooh. I don't even know if any of these are even useful in any way, really. Um, this one's good. I like this one. More vigor skills, more control skills. It's a very, like, universally useful skill to grab. Uh, oh, as for everything else. I reckon what... I don't normally... I have got decent skills on crossbowing and vigor. I have done that. But I feel like we should maybe get ourselves some control. Just so I can go down scouting and tactics at the same time. Uh, this still needs to level up a little bit. 
Normally, I would just go 100% down the route of being a party leader <laughs> than actually having combat skills. But I thought it'd be nice to make a change and have a non meta build. Just go for like some fun crossbow skills and whatnot. We're so rich now. Cool. Well, everybody. I think apart from that, that is going to be this episode. I did not do what I wanted. I did not become a husband to the beautiful Sivlid, whatever her name is. Uh, <laughs> whoever she is, who knows. But we did manage to get myself a castle, even though I didn't really do anything to achieve it. We did it. We also managed to do a cool siege defense. And I fired someone, even though it was the wrong person. <laughs> There was a very um it was a very turbulent episode, let's put it that way. But yeah, everybody, I hope that you have enjoyed today. Um as always, peace out, Sky and Cut below, and I will see you next time. Bye.